Welcome and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at the very first HomeKit device on the market to offer software authentication. So before the release of iOS 11.3, uh, HomeKit accessory makers had to have hardware authentication by using an authentication code processor. Uh, and with iOS 11.3, they were able to, if they wanted to, integrate software authentication through a firmware update to their existing HomeKit accessories, or existing accessories, because not HomeKit yet until they apply the software authentication. So now that we have a software authentication, what that could mean um, is that a lot of the accessory makers, smart home accessory makers, can now integrate HomeKit into their existing devices on the market through a firmware update. And one of those software authenticated devices on the market today, the first one that I know of or I'm aware of, and which was recently given HomeKit compatibility, is the Wemo uh, Mini Smart Plug from Belkin. And I picked up a couple at Costco for, I think these go for $39.99. And since there's two of them, that means they're about $20 each. You can pick one up on Amazon, I think for about $30. And Belkin sells them on their uh, site for $34. So it's an inexpensive uh, smart plug. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. And this is different from a typical unboxing because this is a Costco packaging because they like to include uh, more than just one typically um, so you buy everything in bulk at Costco so we'll go ahead and take a look at this and more importantly I will go through updating the firmware and getting this set up in HomeKit because that's going to be a new process this does not come with a HomeKit code so I'll be interested to see how they allow us to authenticate this within HomeKit so we'll go through those steps um, but first we'll start out with the unboxing so here we have the Wemo Wi-Fi Smart Plug. This is the mini smart plug. Um, and this packaging is Costco, so again, this is not going to be your average unboxing because I think the actual retail packaging in stores looks a little different from this, or a lot different. Uh, but if we look at the packaging, it says Wemo Wi-Fi Smart Plug. We get two of them, which again, at $39 or $40 is a steal. Uh, control your lights and appliances from anywhere and on this packaging it says works with Amazon Alexa and works with Google Assistant so if you happen to be watching this and use either of those platforms this will work for you out the box but we're going to use this for HomeKit and it is missing the works with HomeKit uh, certification badge and that's because out of the box these are not compatible with HomeKit and we're going to need a firmware update to enable that so the back of the box is pretty straightforward or packaging anyway um, again works with these various platforms you can get the Wemo app on the Apple App Store if you don't want to pair it with HomeKit pretty much all the basic information download a free app plug in and connect and control anywhere remotely and this connects through a uh, Wi-Fi connection and not Bluetooth so that's good so let's go ahead and open up this Costco packaging and if I get a better, see if I get a better grasp on it. There you go. I wonder if they put any quick start guides or anything like that in this packaging. It doesn't look like it anyway right now. Oh, there. <laughs> There's something that says let's go. Wemo mini quick start guide. And here are the plugs themselves. Two of them. Looks like there's protective film on here. Let's go ahead and toss this aside. And again, two for $39, $40. I can't say enough how cool of a deal that is to get HomeKit enabled smart plugs for about $20 each. So there's some protective film on here. Uh, accommodates your North American plugs on and off button there so you can turn it on and off uh, at the plug and on the back so one thing you'll notice is there is no home kit code on 
the device itself, again, because these are not HomeKit compatible out of the box. So here's a quick start guide and FCC statement. So this will pretty much tell us how to set this up in the Wemo app. So let's go ahead, plug this in and go through setup and most importantly, download and apply that firmware update that'll let us use these with Apple HomeKit. So let's go ahead and plug these in and run them through setup. As you can see, I already have a Kugeek Smart outlet there. Um, and as you can see, it takes up quite a bit of space. I probably couldn't fit another Kugeek up here in the top outlet. So let's go ahead and remove that and let's see the size comparison with the new Wemos. And as you can see, I can stack two of them together very easily. So let's go ahead and run these through setup and most importantly, download that firmware to enable HomeKit. So let's go ahead and set up this Wemo Mini Smart Plug and we'll do that by going into the Wemo app, which I downloaded on the App Store. Click Get Started Again. Click Wemo, set up your smart plugs. That looks like a quick start guide. Plug me in, connect your Wemo to Wi-Fi, tap on settings and then go into Wi-Fi and select, I guess we'll see the Wemo as a access point. And then we'll connect to that and then well, I guess we'll come back to the Wemo app. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So as you can see, we got two of them listed, 078 and DD6. Let me do DD6 first. It says unsecured network. No internet connection. And it looks like it's connected. So let me go ahead and go back to the Wemo app. It says opening connection. There it is. Let's get started. Um, Wemo Mini. You know what? Since I'm going to hook up a fan to this, I'm going to call this fan. That way I can just ask Siri to turn on the fan. Hit next. And enter email address. Next. And I will pick one of these. And I actually will paste in the email. Click join. Wemo would like to send you notifications. I'll allow that for now. And there it is, fan. So let's go ahead and click that. Let's see, well, let's see, turn it on through here and off. I have nothing connected to it yet. Uh, let's click more. Okay, as you saw, a little red badge popped up and it says firmware update available and that's what we want because this is probably the firmware that enables HomeKit. With this update, your Wemo Mini Smart Plug is compatible with Apple HomeKit. Wemo Bridge is no longer required. Well, that's good because I didn't buy a Wemo Bridge and I don't plan on ever buying a Wemo Bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and click update now. There it is. It says it's downloading the update. Let's change to upgrading. So now it prompts us connect to the Apple Home app from your home network. In order to connect, you'll need to use the same Wi-Fi name that your Wemos are on. Okay, got it. Let's go ahead and look. Connect to Apple Home app. So let's go ahead and try that now. Click get started. Connect any Wemos that work with the Apple Home app. If you see a connect button next to your remote, you can connect directly to the Apple Home app. Click connect. It says out, add outlet. Hit continue. So that looks like the home kit icon. Wemo smart plug. Adding Wemo mini smart plug, make sure it stays connected to power. 
So it says the Wemo Mini Smart Plug has been added. So it looks like it's been added. Um, I guess that's the process if there's no uh, HomeKit code, you do it through the app. So it says it's connected in the Home app. There's a check mark. So let's go ahead and look in the Home app and see if we can find it. Probably at the bottom. There it is. Default room fan. So it went into the default room. I'm going to change that to office because that's where we are. Um, outlet in use says yes. Uh, on. Off. So let's go ahead and plug something in. So now that, that smart plug is set up, I'm going to plug in this fan. Um, it is Southern California summer heat wave time and this fan will help me circulate the cool air coming out of the HVAC system a little more effectively. So let's go ahead and do that. So with the fan plugged in, we can control it from the home app on. Fan turns on. Off. So let's go ahead and try Siri. Hey Siri, turn on the fan. Getting in touch. Done. Hey Siri, turn off the fan. Sending your request. Done. So that's pretty simple. Quick setup. Uh, firmware update and getting into the home kit did take some time. I sped through parts of that if you didn't see it. Um, but it seems to work. So there you guys have it, the first software authenticated home kit accessory on the market. And that is the Wemo Mini Smart Plug from Belkin. And as you can see, there was no uh, works with home kit certification on the box or on the packaging. And I'd imagine it's the same for the regular retail packaging since mine came from Costco. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that once they have those plugs shipping with the home kit enabled firmware, uh, they'll update the packaging to show that it is certified to work with Apple HomeKit. So setup was a little different. It didn't have the HomeKit code, but as soon as it was in the Home app under HomeKit, you know, we can use it for different things. We can set it up with automations and schedules and so on and so forth. So when I actually bought these, I actually bought a couple of these packages. So I have an extra one here. Um, when I bought them, they were like $32 at Costco. At the time, I don't know if that sale is still going on, but that's like $16 per smart plug that's HomeKit enabled. And that, to me, that's a great deal. It's the lowest costing smart plug that's HomeKit enabled that I know of today. And what I like about it is the shape. You can see you can stack two on a standard North American outlet. Whereas, as you can see with um, the other plug, smart plug that I featured on this channel, which was the Geek, you could only put one because it would take up all the space. So this is a lot more compact. Uh, I like that the power button's on the front and it works great. It works as it should. And if you're wondering, hey, what can I use this smart plug for? As you can see, I used it for a fan. Um, I'm in Southern California and it is hot. We're having a heat wave right now. And unfortunately, we're also experiencing some wildfires around us. So it's not a great time of year for us, especially with the heat. So it helps for me to be able to say, hey Siri, turn on the fan. And we have HVAC in our home, but sometimes to circulate the cool air, I, use, I like to use um, a regular fan to do that. And again, with HomeKit, I can just ask Siri to turn it on. Uh, also, if you're one of those who forgets if you turn something on, like say you use an iron often and you always leave the house and say, hey, did I turn that iron off? Well, if you plug your iron into this smart plug, you could just ask Siri when you're away, Hey, can you turn off that iron? And Siri will cut the power to that iron if you happen to leave it off. So you'll have that as peace of mind. And you can attach it to any various small accessories and appliances and it'll work just, just as well. So I like smart plugs. I find uses for them around the house. Uh, let me know what your uses are. If you have smart plugs and you enjoy using them, what do you use, what do you use them for? Please leave a comment uh, and let me know what you use them for and other readers can come by and see what uses they could have for those. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Really simple, smart plugs, they're great. Use them. If you enjoyed this video, you liked it, please hit the like button. Um, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out in the channel and encourages me. And maybe even tap that bell to get notifications when I release new videos. 
Um, I've kind of been a little spotty on putting out new content and that's because it has been hot. I don't typically like to have the AC running when I'm doing these videos because some of that gets caught in the microphone and the noise is kind of hard to do, hard to deal with for me in, in post-processing. And plus it's been hot and you know how it is when it's hot. You really don't feel like doing a whole lot. But I wanted to get this content out to you. So guys, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, please be safe. And if you're in Southern California like I am, stay cool and hydrated. Take care, everyone.